Adam Lambert shares fears over Freddie Mercury impersonators, hope I'm not mean, Adam Lambert, who has been touring with Queen for several years, has expressed his concerns over Freddie Mercury impersonators. American Idol finalist Adam Lambert first performed with Queen members Brian May and Roger Taylor back in 2009 on the eighth season of The Talent Show. In 2014, the vocalist collaborated with the active members of the band to form Queen plus Adam Lambert. While he never had the chance to meet Queen's late frontman Freddie Mercury, Adam admitted he was concerned about contestants impersonating the legend on ITV's Starstruck. The singer-songwriter has been touring with Queen for years, with concerts in North America, South America, Europe, Australia and New Zealand. But Adam is currently appearing on ITV as a judge on the talent show Starstruck which sees contestants transform into their music icons. While the format is similar to the hit 1990s show Stars in Their Eyes which was presented by Matthew Kelly, Starstruck has a judging panel and three contestants performing on stage as their idols at once. Since the series landed on screens last month, contestants have impersonated the likes of Cher, Ariana Grande, Lady Gaga, Michael Buble and even Queen's Freddie Mercury. Adam recently opened up to Express.co.uk and other publications about becoming a starstruck judge and shared his thoughts on the Freddie Mercury transformations. The judges include West End icon Beverly Knight, actress Sheridan Smith and comedian Jason Manford. Adam explained, I'm not just being politically correct, but we got along really well, there were no divas and we are all professionals. We all found things in common and there was a lot of laughter. However, he admitted, there were some friendly disagreements because that is the nature of a show like this, but we had fun with it. During the first episode of Starstruck, three contestants were transformed into Freddie Mercury and Adam questioned whether they would be able to embody the megastar. He exclaimed, There was a Freddie Mercury group and obviously I am close to the band and when they were announced I thought, oh god, I hope I am not mean, but when they performed I thought it was good, and I was really impressed. The thing I like about this show is that no one is going on stage and making fun of the artist, they are being respectful and are tributes from superfans who have watched these artists since they were young. They know the records and they know how they move, sound and talk, so it's really like a tribute to all these artists and that is what makes it really special. Adam explained it was, a joy, to watch the contestants join together on stage to perform as their heroes. These are people from all over the country and all walks of life, Adam said. Some are parents, some are amateurs, and some do this professionally. And what is good is that the show doesn't punish them for being an amateur, the show loves that. The Queen impersonators impressed the starstruck judges and audience so much with their rendition of Don't Stop Me Now they made it all the way through to the episode's final. However, Rob Lee was the only Freddie impersonator to secure a place in the series finale which airs on Saturday March 26. The other finalists include Rachel Haunt as Cher. Anastasia Baker as Tina Turner and Frankie Madden as Billie Eilish. The winner of the series will take home a cash prize of £50,000. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and press bell icon button for more videos.